I had always thought that tutu kueh was an offshoot of uh, you know the Malay putu piring uh, little snack, but no, no, no. This is totally invented right here in Singapore, and I'm so happy to be with the daughter of the inventor. Your father is Mr. Tan Inghuat. Tan Inghuat, yeah. and uh, from he came from China lah, yes, of right. course. And uh, what gave him the idea to come up with tutu kueh? Actually, the, my father is coming from China, Fujian, and in, at their hometown, they make a steam rice cake. That pure one, that's a rice cake. What, what is it called? Uh, it's called song kao, uh, Sim, sang kue. Okay. Sang kue, sang kue, kao. It's similar to this, lah. Yes, yes, it's a, just pure rice. Go song inside. Go song inside. Okay. And when they came to Singapore, my the father they make it. Uh, they fill with coconut and peanut and make it tasty. Ah, okay, I'm going to ask him, why did he call it tutu kueh? I don't hear tutu. Okay, because I hear shah. It should be shah shah kueh. Because previously, we are using the old charcoal heater simmer machine. Once we meet the kueh at the time, they will go tutu sound come out. So we name it as tutu. So you should just make a sound on here, tutu, and then people will come out. When they steam it, the time, yeah. Okay, show us how it's made. So, firstly, the flour. Uh, it is just rice, rice flour, yes, it's a pure rice. but the magic is they make their own rice flour. Yes, we okay, call it all so kong, all, all hand work. Uh. Yes. I think you can go and buy your own rice flour, but it'll come out maybe 70%, 60% of this. But unless you want to go and do your own thing, this is a palm sugar uh, grated coconut. Uh, and again, they make this on their own. You can just look at it, and you can you can tell that these things are handmade. You don't buy them pre-made. Uh. And then uh, they top it up again with this little uh, steamer. Put a cloth over it. That's all. That's all. Steam for one minute. Now it's very easy to not notice the little secrets and magic behind her kueh tutu. In this noisy uh, hawker centre, just by a car park here, and watch this. Now look, see how light the flour is. She doesn't press the flour into the mold, and then she puts in uh, coconut. Hardly presses the uh, the uh, flour in, and again she just drops the uh, batter or the flour in, and it goes straight into the steamer. But you gotta first wrap it up so it steams evenly. There you go. Cover it then. In today's context, uh, so many people want to make this, um, and then you know people also want new versions of this. Okay. What are the new things you put inside your tutu kueh? Uh, okay. Chocolate. Chocolate durian, uh, cheese. Cheese. Yeah. I was about to suggest. What about cheese? And she said cheese. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, what about kaya? You think kaya will work? Mm, I will try. I will try. Try. And okay. I the red bean also before. Red bean. Yes. And does it work? Uh, okay. Okay. What about uh, Lian Rong? Uh, I haven't tried yet. Haven't tried. Yeah. You will try. I'll come across. Okay. Try if not, you try. If not, I try. <laughs> wow. I want to eat. It is hot. Uh. Now you see it? Now you're done. 